Hey, hello friends. My name is Udo Blessing, and today we'll be doing something a little bit out of you know design of shapes and all that. I just want to give you a very, 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 very short, quick tip on how to make work better. If you were like me when I started with Adobe Illustrator, that I you know whenever I'm designing something and I stumble upon a particular nice vector I just created. You know, you don't want to lose it, so you save it and all that, and you continue to save, and you have a lot of vectors that you just saved, and sometimes you forget about some and all that. I don't know if you've been in that situation, but I've been in that a lot of time. So this is what I have come to find out, and to be very helpful to you, and that is what libraries, libraries. If you don't have it set up, all you need to do is come to Window and come here and make it active library. It's a very good way of stocking all those good vectors that you stumbled on or maybe you worked on an artwork that looks real nice. So you can stock it there and you can easily access it there instead of saving it as, a, as an illustrator file or saving it as a picture so, and because you can even easily access it while working. So how does it work? Let's say for example you you made a nice artwork. I'm not going to do any artwork today. I'm just going to do something. Uh, just let me just um, work on something like that. Let me work on something. Like that. Just just something to work with and um, and, and you know just bring up something. Never can tell. It might <laughs> it might actually be wonderful. I didn't plan this, so just uh, let me just do it and. Let me let me see if something good can come up. I don't want to tell you. Maybe like you're walking like me now. You're walking blindly. You don't have a design in mind, and uh, you're just walking and you're flowing with it like that. And you, I don't, I didn't plan this actually. I didn't plan this. I just, just, just trying to get something done. So. Let me just stop there and not waste time. So let's just say you came across this kind of design and you're like, oh wow, this could be, <laughs> and, and it looks real bad, but you say, oh, this could be um, a logo for, you know, you could actually make it a logo and all that and you look, look at it that, oh, this is, this is so nice. So how do you do it and you say you want to save it and all that, but this is what you can do. You can actually come here and just drag it. To the library here. Just wait a little while, it's going to load, and now it's there. And now it's there. So now, anytime you can delete this, you can just delete it. See, I've deleted it. Even though I love it, I've deleted it. Anytime you you can close Adobe Illustrator now, if you reopen it, it's going to be in your library. It's just like a normal library where your books are there. You, you read a, a, a kind of book and you loved it, you put it in your library. So when you need it, you go there and get it. Same thing. So if I need it, all I just need to do is come here and drag it back to the artwork. And it loads it exactly the way I've done it. So it's a very, very nice way. And not only that, maybe you like a particular color that you've just um, noticed that it might be good for one or one design that you are planning to make like let's say this color all you just need to do is come down here and click on it it gives you the color and the code of the color now i can delete it then you can access it later let us say for example you you need that same color all you need to do is just come here and click make the make the object you want to change the color active make it active then click just click once it loads the color for you so that's that and you can add different folders now the folder i am on is my library i can decide to add folder let me click it click on it create new library you can create and call it anything you want you can call it anything you want then you create this is good maybe you're working for a project that has a lot of vector involved in it and you don't want to be saving it separately all you just need to do is after you work on it you say you send it there you work on it you send it there and when you want to do the normal project you begin to get the artwork from there so that's just all i want to tell you today library is a great way of saving all your vectors you don't need to save it out as a as an illustrator file 
save yourself those stress this is just a quick tip and don't forget this comment thank us if you don't have any question if you have any question put it in the comment section below subscribe and follow our channel our channel i'll be sure to get back to you with another wonderful exciting quick tip tutorial see you later or let me say uh talk to you later